Greetings. I'm Helena Pugh, a Marine Corps veteran and the host of your 5-Minute Salute. I have with me today Felix Nader from North Carolina. Felix, welcome to our show. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. So, Felix, how did you become a member of our nation's military? In high school, I wanted to boost my, uh, my draft, and I didn't want to get it, uh, drafted by the United States Army. In 1967, I joined. It was a terrible, terrible experience. So when I got out, I joined the reserves in 1973 and spent a total of 26 years uh, rising up to the rank of command sergeant major of a major organization. Excellent. So, you know, Felix, I don't get to interview too many Vietnam veterans. So before we even go further into the interview, I just want to say to you, welcome home. I understand as a service member how our nation treated our Vietnam veterans, and I want you to know I appreciate your service because it allowed me and so many other people to continue serving today. So thank you. And, and for the record, I didn't have the esteemed honor of serving in country. I was a Vietnam era vet supporting those of us that deployed. Thank and you. we appreciate your service. So tell me what you do today. So today I have a fantastic consulting practice, uh, Nader Associate Security Consulting, uh, helps organizations implement and manage workplace security with a focus on workplace violence prevention. Excellent. So workplace violence has really become something that's uh, more prevalent in the in our you know later years of our nation. What do you do specifically to help corporations prepare to prevent workplace violence? What a great question. So I educate and inform them on what they should know and, and how they should do it. And then I help them implement policies, plans, and procedures uh, to help them understand what they need to do to protect themselves and the workforce from the threat of workplace violence and school violence. So there are probably a lot of certifications and things that went along with that, that your company either had to get or that you offer to organizations as you're going along. Can you tell me what some of those certifications are? I hold a security, uh, certified security consulting uh, certification, which essentially allows me or permits me uh, to consult and advise and evaluate organizational situations, understand the business growth and development, and deal in the communication sphere, sphere from an understanding point of view so that I can market my services, interpret their situations, and deliver the right products and services. Excellent. Now, when you were transitioning, was there something that you learned as a veteran transitioning into the civilian workforce that you'd like to share with our other veterans? What another great question. It is what I practice today. The military has a great reservoir of skills. And, and until you tap into those skills, you'll never really appreciate just how prepared they are in that transition from military service into your civilian world. And I know by virtue of my own experiences, I think I'm more mature in, in how I interact and engage with people who have not been in the military and those who have been appreciate me because I understand both worlds. And that makes me a sustainably competitive consultant in, in my world. Yeah, you know, one of the things that I've really um, been challenged with over the last couple months is uh, disengaging. A lot of times as a military veteran, do you find yourself just having to disengage from a lot of social situations because you kind of see the ramp up happening? And uh, because we're trained and, and we learn a little bit more, it, it kind of falls on us to be the more responsible citizen and, and pull back from certain conversations. I like that phrase, uh, disengage. I, don't, I never coined it that way, but I take a step backwards. I can envision greater, see more, see the landscape a lot clearer than most would be, and then come back with a better thoughtful response. So I, I like that phase. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you what, Felix, any company that is uh, tapping into your services to have some consulting for their companies is probably in very good hands. <laughs> so I do want to thank you so much for being well, here you. with us on the Five Minutes Appreciate Salute. That. Thank you so much for taking the time to allow me to interview you. And thank you for having me very much, Elaine. I appreciate you. Excellent. Now, America, we'd like for you to go to our website, ZaharaVets.org, and tap on this interview so that you can view it in its entirety and then share it with your community. Thanks so much for being here and have an awesome week.